So guys you must have heard of that quote behind every successful man there is a woman and today we are going to prove that using geometry node and this is exactly how we are going to do it we are going to take two 3d models of a man and a woman break them into pieces using cell fracture and finally have an object which scales down our man and does the opposite for the woman that is scaling up and lastly, we are just going to put these two effects together to have our masterpiece ready. So without any further delay, like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's download the 3D models from the link in description. For the woman, download the specific GLB format and for the man, download the specific OBJ format. Once done, Let's open up in Blender. And once you import them in, you will have this kind of situation in front of you where our woman is standing tall and our guy is right in her footsteps. All right. So first of all, the idea is to if you go if I go in my front view, the idea is to have them all together in the same place. So let's resize our man set origin origin to geometry. I will just simply roughly recycle uh, resize it first r x minus 90 now I got our guy is standing tall I will just place it here and also place my 3d cursor somewhere there choose my pivot point to 3d cursor and I will just scale it up like this so idea is to have them roughly proportionate to each other if I go into my front view again their heads should be almost aligned this is up to you now I will go also on my top view and I will just place them right on top of each other something like this works and we are good to go and now just refine our 3d models and in particularly our man because his stick is sticking out of the picture and when we animate it it's gonna look bad I will hide my woman press tab to go into the edit mode shift Z to go into the wireframe mode press C to have the selection tool select his stick and have it roughly selected like this and press X delete and now we have our stickless man ready because success comes at some cost so our next step from here is to break this down into pieces but before that if I go into my edit mode I will see that this has all tris mesh made up of all triangles which is much much denser the head and much less dense from everywhere so if I use cell fracture here I will have my own kind of Pokemon ready which I do not want so to correct it I will use a remesh modifier and I will choose smooth and I will go up till 5 6 7 8 9 10 <laughs> Now this completely depends upon your hardware. I mean I can easily go up till 8 so I am fine with it and I will make peace with it. I will set smooth shading, control A to apply and now when I press uh, go into my edit mode I will have a quad mesh made up of all, made up of all square and it is all evenly populated. And now finally let's use the cell fracture add-on and if you don't have it already go into preferences add-ons and if you type in cell here check this up if you don't have it you will have it now I will select this model objects quick effects cell fracture and these are my settings I will use noise around 0.3 and I will break them into around 300 pieces and have small objects recenter it important and press OK now this effect could take time I mean depending upon your hardware this could take around two minutes I'm and this is what you will get after one or two minutes and you will see that uh, their centers are still not recentered so I will just right click set origin origin to geometry and now they are all set I will press M new collection and I will type in successful man and once done you can give it some color to this collection and also we don't need the original model of this man I will just hide it from the viewport and render as well 
and this is our main collection for the man and I will simply repeat these steps for the woman and I will first hide this collection bring the woman back into the scene and let's begin And now you should end up with something like this where you have two collections of man and woman and if I go into my front view now this step is optional because I have identified that man's body is going is positioned around this region alright so I will select objects and I will roughly just shift it towards its left maybe something like this and I get that's it and now it's show time so I will first hide everything from the viewport as well as renders and I will spawn a cube and just make sure this cube is in none of these collections I will select scene collection and just spawn it anywhere of any size doesn't matter and I will now open up my geometry nodes panel press new and first of all I will get rid of this I don't need this and I will get two of my collection inside this node tree just drag it in something like this keep this a bit down make some space and let's begin by plugging this collection in this is of our man and I will select relative and also separate children and next in I will spawn scale instances this is for the scaling of elements and rotate instances for the rotation all right now the idea is to have an effector i will spawn uv sphere in and i will also go into the viewport viewport display and select bounce and you can select anything here and i will select sphere and I will also hide it from our renders alright the idea is that this effector should affect its rotation and scale and for that I will use proximity node here shift A and spawn in proximity node and new questions asked I want you to make this setup first of all get this sphere inside of our node tree and I will get math divide and I will plug this in and use relative position distance and I will simply divide scale by distance so this simple setup grants us the axis of its location and scale alright I will show you what I mean if I use if I just plug this here and there it is but it is going out of scale it doesn't know what to do I will just get in a color ramp so that it settles and I will just drag these sliders till around here I guess and this is doing what we want but as you remember I, s I told you that this should scale down so I will use a float curve in my previous tutorial I told float curves values are from 0 to 1 so it's going from 0 to 1 I want it to go from 1 to 0 from visible to invisible alright so this is it its scale and locations are affecting our model now and now let's also play with the rotation of it I will simply plug this setup in my rotation and see just what happens and it is affecting a little bit I guess to gain more control I will use map range and I will just increase to max value around maybe 5 or 6 works alright so that it rotates more and there we have it our first effect is ready and for the woman whatever we did here is just going to be reversed so, alright so this is your second chance of redemption if you have not understood the steps above we will just repeat them again alright so let's move okay so firstly I will just unplug the collection above and I will just drag this a bit down and let's plug in the woman collection in and I will choose relative and separate children and the first two nodes which I will spawn here, here is scale instances or to be efficient I will select these two and copy them down 
and let's just plug these like this scale instances is for scaling the elements and make sure that you have separate children enabled because if you scale this down the whole statue will go down as a whole all right separate children is checked up and rotate instances is all working nice all right now second thing is i want this effector to work with this collection i will simply plug this we have already made it all right i will simply plug this in and this is scaling from 1 to 0 all right which is doing as it is all right and i will simply just plug this also in and i will shift the copy and for this i will choose minus 5 here to 0 because at first it was going from 0 to 5 and this one is going from minus 5 to 0 it has reverse rotation now let's check this up and it's working fine and nice and now we have come to our very last tip and your life is going to change after this I suppose join geometry in and I will plug this here and this is it join this in and there you have it it's done and dusted and our next step is optional and this is for the people who want to stand out and maybe you, you can show this artwork to your parents and maybe ask for a 40 90 or something so let's move okay so we are going to add some spice to it by adding some colors and let's go one by one i will just get these notes off if you're wondering how i do this i press control on my keyboard right click and just do this and congrats you are a pro now all right I will also press alt and get this off from here and let's work on the man first let's plug it in this is what we have right now and let's go into our material preview and first I will add a new setup new and I will call it man and now just stay with me all right so we have this effector all right the moment i get this closer i scale it up or down it affects some of its elements i want from the node tree i want the information of the elements that are being affected by this effector so that if you apply a little bit of your brain that comes from this value but it goes where that goes into a store named attribute i will just plug this in and I will call it anything I am going to call it color for C O L for color you can name it anything alright C O L and this is for our instances that are being affected by whom by our effector right here and now I am also going to open my shader editor like right here and I am going to choose my new material that I just used man alright so now let's set material choose man and in the shader nodes I will shift a attribute and I will call in this function store name battery attribute col col and I will plug it in and to my surprise nothing will happen right now but you have to use another node in between that is called realize instances to make myself clear right now if I open my spreadsheet blender ha if I click this mesh blender has nothing here like it is not recognizing that it has something once you plug this node in blender has every value it has all right now if you just look closer we have what we want we are actually cooking something right now all right the white are the are particles which are being affected by this effector all right so if i use a color ramp and just flip it so now we have black which are being affected and now let's just cut to the cheese i am going to use this as my mask between emission and my principal PSTF alright I will use mix shader let's plug this in and let's plug this value as a factor and let's plug uh, this in 
and also let's reverse this up so that we have our emission color something like this you can also plug this information in between here and use a color ramp and give any color right here I am going to use red maybe like this up to you I mean alright so we have our model elements changing and for the woman we are just going to do something similar I am going to choose uh, select these three nodes shift D and I will plug this information here and I will also plug my effector information right here and the only thing is I am going to choose a different material like I had applied man uh, you can choose a new material but I will simply select this option man 001 and I will select man 001 the only difference between this and the previous material will be that you are going to change flip the value of this color ramp and let's finish it up join geometry and let's plug this right here so this is it and I have to say I really hate the color scheme but I would really love to see what you create out of this tutorial alright so see you in the next one